when we hear UFOs, we tend to think about aliens and sci-fi movies, but sometimes that's not always the case. So joining us live via Zoom is Jay Reynolds, a research astronomer with Cleveland State University. Professor Reynolds, what do you make out of all of this? Well, just because we don't know what it is means that it's from out there someplace. We, we simply don't have all the information. One of the rules of science is that you have to be objective about it. And the other aspect is reproducibility. We need to know all the information as to where these images were taken, the type of camera, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, the military is not going to share or divulge that information initially. But it's always good to challenge authority and demand this information. And this is a very positive step in finding out what is going on. So if you think that you've had one of these alleged encounters, is footage enough when it comes to the science? Absolutely not, no. Uh, it's, it's the first step, but there's a lot of information that it has to be reproducible by other scientists at very least and hopefully the public. So, and more than one person has to be able to, to see it or recognize it. it. It's not enough. We, we love the emotion behind this and, and I'm just like everyone else, okay? I, you know, it's very exciting at the possibility of it, mm -hmm. but scientifically, not at this point. We still need to know more information. But why, it's a good step. Why now? All of a sudden, the U.S. Senate wants a report by the end of the month. Is that even possible? That, uh, that's a good question. Or Number one, why now? And is it uh, doable by the end of the month? That's a, that's a very tall order. This goes mm -hmm. back uh, nearly 100 years, really, you think about it, all the information that they have. But also, the other question that we have to ask is, are they giving us all the information? There's the, the last little tidbit they're going to leave in the vault, and we're, we're not divulging that one there. Mm -hmm. We don't know. So we should always challenge authority. What do you think this will look like? Little green men, or is it just space junk, in your opinion? <laughs> well, it's hard to say. Space junk tends to follow the laws of physics, and it falls, uh, uh, for instance, in space, it follows a period predetermined orbit, we can make predictions where it's going to be, et cetera. Or if it's falling through the sky, we can see and plot out that as well. I was out with a group of people. I got a, a telephone call from a TV station. People from all over the area are talking about this light dodging mm -hmm. back and forth over in this area. And I looked for myself and I said, oh my gosh, you're right. People are right to call. This is good. Well, here, it was simply a star over Lake Erie. Uh very warm Lake Erie and very cold air made the light refract back and forth. And it's a very simple answer, but we needed more information. But I'm glad people call and notice these things. That's good. We Thank should keep you. on doing it. Thank you, Jay, for your time. And we'll be right back after the break.